chapter two. It's always right. I thought it was going to be the end of the chapter. Sorry though. about the mess. I've really let the place go since you killed me. By the way, thanks for that. Sarcasm self-test complete. That's good. Oh, good. That's back online. I'll start getting everything else working while you perform this first simple test, which involves deadly lasers and how test subjects react when locked in a room with deadly lasers. Okay. Um. Well, what? The fuck? I didn't notice this got switched out. It's crazy. Um. Okay, I know I've got to go across here. Another thing that's annoying. This looks like death goo, but it's not. So, yeah. Not bad. I forgot how good you are at this. You should pace yourself, though. We have a lot of tests to do. We do. This next test involves discouragement redirection cubes. I just finished building them before you had your, well, episode. So now we'll both get to see how they work. There should be one in the corner. Okay. Discouragement beam. Sounds, uh, terrible. Stuff in here. And in here. He's alive! Oh, I'm so glad. Whoops. What? Please work. There we go. You appear to be having some trouble there. Eventually, that wall will break, possibly. Hmm. Don't know, it seems to be pretty strong. One day, GLaDOS will care about you. One day. No. I need a cube. Well done. Here come the test results. You are a horrible person. That's what it says. A horrible person. We weren't even testing for that. Oh, I already knew that. I've said that in pretty much every single one of my videos. Don't let that horrible person thing discourage you. It's just a data point. If it makes you feel any better, science has now validated your birth mother's decision to abandon you on a doorstep. Okay. Whoa, I didn't know you could actually stand on this when it went up. That's pretty cool. Wait, what's this way? What? <gasps> I didn't know about this rat man den. Sucker's luck. Too many variables. Exile. And beans, of course. Oh, what? Villify. Don't even try. Feels like a trial. Hmm. I think this person's gone batshit crazy. Of course, this person is um, Ratman. If anyone with a name like Ratman, they've always they, you basically know they've gone batshit crazy. Where's the beans? Here they are. Stick them through that wall. Doesn't work, okay. Wait, I shot board up there. What are you doing, game? Sort the crap out. Need this to go here. And we need this to go. Congratulations. Here. Not on the test. Most people emerge from suspension terribly undernourished. I want to congratulate you on beating the odds and somehow managing to pack on a few pounds. And thank you, GLaDOS. That's uh really Kind of you. My god. 
Yeah. One moment. I'll give you one moment, that's so. all. You are navigating these test chambers faster than I can build them. So feel free to slow down and do whatever it is you do when you're not destroying this facility. You told me to pace myself, so I did. Hi, camera. Okay, so I've got to go over here. Press the button. Bring this, uh, don't bring this. Place the portal there. Take the cube. Jump onto the platform for unnecessary reasons. Crap, I almost fell off ground. I guess you are listening to me. But for the record, you don't have to go that slowly. Fine, I'll speed up. First you tell me to just speed up, then slow down, then speed up. You're just a, you're just a terrible person. I'm horrible, you're terrible. Nice to meet you. Okay, sorry about that. Um, I have to say, um, before we continue here, sorry, I'm, I've completely lost my focus here. Um, there's uh, blah, blah, sausages. If you ever cook sausages, um, make sure to leave one out, because I just got up and. Uh, six o'clock here and ate a sausage and it was cold which is the point whoops whenever you cook sausages make sure to um, leave one out that's the point this next test involves the aperture science aerial faith plate it was part of an initiative to investigate how well test subjects could solve problems when they were catapulted into space results were highly informative they could not Good luck. Thanks for wishing me luck. Oh, no, I don't want to fall. Okay, that's good. Here's an interesting fact. You're not breathing real air. Really? It's too expensive to pump this far down. We just take carbon dioxide out of a room, freshen it up a little, and pump it back in. So you'll be breathing the same room full of air for the rest of your life. I thought that was interesting. It was interesting, until I realized that it wasn't. Let's see what the next test is. Oh, advanced aerial faith plates. Well, have oh, fun wait. soaring through the air without a care in the world. I have to go to the wing that was made entirely of glass and pick up 15 acres of broken glass by myself. Well, so I can hardly help you. I'd break my back picking up that much glass. Okay, let's go. It's a me, a Mario. Okay, I did it in time. Looks pretty simple. Oh, sorry. I'm still cleaning out the test chambers. So That's sometimes scary. there's still trash in them. Standing around, smelling and being useless. Try to avoid the garbage hurtling towards you. It's simple, just let it all bounce off. Easy. Real cute time. Zip zap boobity boop. Whoop. Yeah. Remember before when I was talking about smelly garbage standing around being useless? Yeah. That was a metaphor. I was actually talking about you. And I'm sorry. You didn't react at the time, so I was worried it sailed right over your head. 
which would have made this apology seem insane. That's why I had to call you garbage a second time just now. What a terrible person. Did you know that people with guilty consciences are more easily startled by loud noises? No, I did. I'm sorry. I don't know why that went off. Anyway, just an interesting science fact. You're a terrible person, Gladys. Oh, did I accidentally fizzle that before you could complete the test? You did. I'm sorry. Go ahead and grab another one. Oh, it's got a heart on it. This is a companion cube. That's cool. Oh, no. I fizzled that one too. Oh well. We have warehouses full of the things. Absolutely worthless. I'm happy to get rid of them. So glad you could be so happy. Yay. Okay, infinite rolling cube. Okay, um... We actually need it, so let's take it from here. So let's see, we need to go here first, so that's right, and there we go. And here we go, let's jump through. Bloop. Um, bloop, and bloop. Every test chamber is equipped with an emancipation grill at its exit, so that test subjects cannot smuggle test objects out of the test area. This one is broken. Don't take anything with you. So you mean, do take everything with me? Okay, I'll take everything with me right now. I think that one was about to say, I love you. They are sentient, of course. We just have a lot of them. Wow. How terrible you are. Ooh, about emancipation grills. This next grills. test involves emancipation grills. Remember, I told you about them in the last test area that did not have one. That's, uh, cool. Doesn't explain how it works, though, like most of them do. Ooh. Let's jump on top of it. Let's jump on top. Let's jump on top. We don't- we can't jump on top. Oh no. The turbines again. Ooh, hi, working I camera. Go. Wait, you this are next mine. test does require some explanation. Let me give you the fast version. Pew pew! There. If you have any questions, just remember what I said in slow motion. Test on your own recognizance. I'll be right back. Pew pew pew! Pew 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 pew! I'm holding it like a gun. Pew 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 pew! Zap! Pew! Okay, let's uh, let's emancipate it. You know what? Let's do it. Be gone. Yeah, button. Whoa. Well, that was simple as dimple as wimple. It works. <laughs> 